down and then up the other side. The canyon is swarming with foul creatures. Uh, Vescovores? I think I got that soldier kind of right. A real pain in the neck. They won't shy away from our soldiers' weapons. And they already managed to gobble up uh, uh, someone up. Oh, lovely. It looked like a caravan of battery G's from Canabras that lost its way. Why would it go north? Odd. Uh, no one's ever reported uh, Vesca Wars so far from the center of the world wound. Where did they come from? Anivia bites her lip. I still haven't noticed us, but that won't last long. Oh, yeah, hold true for long. Maybe if we retreat quietly? Hmm. Find out what else is known about the enemy. Those nasty little critters can ruin your gear and drive the, uh, you nuts with their buzzing, Nibia says in a rush. Uh, they got a queen, the mother of the whole swarm. She's right, she's a right horror. But if we kill her, the bulk of the swarm will scatter. Okay. Oh god, look at that little horrid thing. Commander and his companions convene a field council. The army cannot march around the obstacle, for there is no other road. Retreat is far too risky. Did the swarm notice the army and catch it uh, out in the open, no one would survive. None utters the word trap, but the fear hangs in the air. A swarm of om uh, omnivore beasts that just happens to be in the army's path? Someone has arranged for this on their own, uh, yeah, for their own nefarious ends. Rustling, grating, squeaking. Hello, cat. Ow! Fuck, that's claws in my leg. Ow. <laughs> uh, everyone hears the voice of the swarm through the sky before the, uh, the army remains clear. Uh, yeah. Uh, for now. Uh, how long until it's darkened by the flying sp uh, spawn of the abyss? An idea, a decision. Uh, straight and sharp like a soldier's sword appears in their minds. The pursuit of... Uh, Crusader's council grows grim. One uh, one unit must act as a live bait to lure out the swarm Ugh. and clear the path to the uh, to the queen. Mm -mm -mm. The commander will rush the monster, killing her quickly before the swarm uh, decimates the army. Okay, well that's gonna be rough. Do I have to choose what are uh, what's it called what unit to send? One second. Dark question looms over. Who will lead the faithful squad and be consumed as bait? In moments of stre uh, extreme stress, one often says one thing while meaning quite another. Hidden words often reveal many, uh, reveal many a curious thing. What do we see here? Irabeth no uh, nobly states, I am an officer best suited for the mission. But in truth, she means I cannot burden another with my responsibility. Neither send me, nor the historian uh, emerges with an unexpected suggestion from behind the commander's back. This is just the sort of situation uh, where uh, ingenuity and knowledge of the enemy will be of most uh, more useful than swords and armor. While she speaks, she th um, she thinks, "I need to prove myself." Hmm. into the faces of your companions one who uh, who distracts a swarm will need a healer also there's also one who uh, speaks plainly a healer might bring a few through the uh, yeah the miscavores are alive the rest of the council remains silent this silence is filled by a chorus of uh, those others 
better suited, and the commander needs me alive. Does the commander hear these unspoken words? Oh, so we have to choose to possibly sacrifice somebody? I'm gonna send Nora. I think she does have, yeah, she wants to prove herself, but I also think that she might have what it takes to get through that. Commander and his party disappear among the rocks, preparing to slip down into the canyon while the swarm is distracted by their bait. Tight loot Anivia shows the way. Behind them, the, uh, the final preparations are being made. Here, what we'll do. Oh, here's what we'll do. Oh my god, my phone's turned off. Ooh, gross. Mmm. Nora's instructs the soldiers, we'll approach the, uh, the precipice, stomping and banging our swords against the shields. Uh, we'll get the swarm's attention as quickly as possible. Passion burns in her eyes, and she, her lips curl, uh, curls into a smile of satisfaction. The soldiers tread fearfully down the uh, road towards the dark edge of the canyon ahead. The rift uh, that yawns open before them whispers, rasps, rattles in the thousands upon uh, thousands of voices. Uh, the Vescovores gather below. The sky is open above them. Flying creatures might rise up and attack at any moment. They'll just soon find the first body. A mangled corpse of a refugee from Canabras. Um, a few straggling Vescovores wriggle inside the dead man's gaping chest. Ooh. Tiny larvae. Or larvae uh, in a greenish shell. All shuffling, uh, all shuffling legs and hinging ho uh, jaws. They don't seem menacing at all. Really? Because they sound pretty... Mm. But then the rasping noise stops for a moment and a high vi uh, vibrating note pierces the air with a new force. A blur of green, a black, blackish green uh, clouds rises from the Buffalo Canyon. The swarm has taken the bait. Scatter or fight to the bitter end? Um... Leader, I mean, fighting to the bitter end, yeah, they might last a little bit longer, but I think scattering would be better. There is swift, uh, swift and oh, swift and fleet is splendid uh, at the chase, dodging from place to place, diving into inconspicuous cracks between the stones. He's gracefully avoids the vescovores, but our soldiers are not as nimble, and their armor not but a burden. The whispering, screeching song of an Extra plain, yeah, vescable clouds the mind. Okay. And for any escape from the creature's jaws, the warriors fall one by one, screaming in pain, while their friends scattered across the area are too far away to aid them. Uh, cries of agony rise up from the rocks, filling the soldiers' hearts with horror. The rasping mumbling and the buzzing of the swarm paralyze the soldiers' will. Poisonous mandibles cut through the armor and bone. The swarm could uh, scour an entire city from the face of Galorian. These modest forces present no obstacle. No matter what strategy the, uh, the mortals chose, it's impossible to resist the eternal hunger of the abyss. Escavores are the embodiment, uh, are its embodiment. No malevolent mind or terrible monster, but a million of half sentient creatures who know, uh, who know no goal but destruction. An effective weapon, yeah, for those prepared to trade, fer trade fertile soil for a wasteland. Tarn yet remains for the commander to save his people, at least some portion. What will he decide? Uh, okay. Oh, there's Anivia. Or Vinia, whatever her name is. Lots of lights and shadow dance along the walls of the canyons. Oh, they're all flying above us, great. High above your head, the swarm gathers, dark as the rain clouds. There are so many vescovores that the, they block out the sun. Luckily, you escape the attention of the swarm, which is the focus upon the, uh, the troops you're using as bait, yeah. At least for now. Uh, Commander, the beasts have come, uh, 
beast we've come for is at the other end of the main corridor. A lot of burrows and plenty of beasts in them. Uh, but you better not delve too deep. Other people won't hold out. Yeah, our people won't hold out for long. Okay. On the other hand, I saw bodies of some uh, poor caravan or caravaneers down by one of the side holes. They have some valuable stuff on them. Bugs will eat everything that we don't grab. Hmm. Managed to find out where these beasts came from? Not sure. But there's a clear sign of a ritual closer to the Bug Queen's lair. Bug Queen, Bug's lair, whatever. And they're fresh. Maybe somebody summoned the scum uh, specifically for us? Demon Filth uh, figured out that we're never going to let Canapris go. Too bad we don't have some magic specialist who could... Yeah, that would be great. Oh, wait, we do. Huh? What? I am a specialist. I'll get to the bottom of this. Uh, what happened? Okay, do no help at all. Mm, anything useful about these monsters? I never fought these before, so I don't know much. A nasty beast. She spits acid and summons her spawn uh, from around the area. One thing, uh, when I tried to get closer, I started feeling sick as a dog. I guess a, um, like a lot like demons. She knows how to get inside your head. Hmm. How interesting. That sounds like a Vescoal Queen, an extremely rare creature. Yeah, of course it's a queen. We literally just... Oh my. She never pays attention. I must say, I'm looking forward to an encounter to conduct an, an, uh, the experiment. Uh, the world must know what is more dangerous. Mandibles snapping uh, shut on one's hand or acid eating away one's skin. I would say the, the acid. Like I'm right behind you. Thanks. Beautiful. Beautiful. Throat at. Let's see what we can do. Mind over Royal God, hello there. Dude, you're a big boy. No, I'm I'm rushing. This experiment has gone awry. Oh, hello. I was following the blood, thinking I might, might lead to where I need to go. I mean, I do want loot, but soldiers help me in the long run. The bottom of the uh, canyon is split by a narrow crevice, about one stride across uh, its widest. It's easy enough to jump over. Hmm. Obstacle doesn't seem to, uh, seem a uh, yeah seem a problem or particularly notable. But as you draw closer, you hear a terrible droning sound coming from inside the crevice. Perception. Uh, you stare into the darkness of the void, trying to make out what uh, where the strange sound is coming from. Not all at once, but your eyes pick out a contours of a body in the darkness. Someone small, perhaps a gnome. A halfling or child rolled up in a ball at the bottom of the chasm. Wait, is that Nora? Oh, it's a caravaneer. Um. That failed. Well. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, this was this. Is, okay. There's the queen. Oh, we killed it. Damn. Get fucked. Unleashing a last shriek, the Swarm Queen slumps to the ground immediately, as if by magic. The distant sounds of battle begin to subside. Several small beasts sit um, on their mother's body, sinking their mandibles into it. Oh. Okay. The canyon drowns in waves, uh, the waves of scent. Sweet, uh, sporific, with a hint of a uh, with a hint of bite. 
like the crackle of the air before a storm. Oh, so you can smell ozone, is what you're saying. Looking at the slain monster uh, for a brief moment, you feel an inexplicable sensation. Not of sympathy, no. Basketball Queen is disgusting. Uh, but a strange kinship? What is it like to be a part of a swarm, hostile to all life, hating everyone, and hated by everyone? Take a deep breath, and sensation passes. Can't breathe, I need some fresh air. Uh, get me out of this disgusting hole. Greed, mind you. I, mm, I've had caused to see holes a good deal more disgusting than this in my time. Oh, okay. Uh, mine out of the gutter, Weaver. But there were few far between. The fumes gone to your head count? Look at you. Uh, cracking jokes like the worst kind of board. Uh, just a brainless bug. So many... Uh, and so many people died because of her. Just yesterday, I was sitting by the fire with some of the people of the swarm devoured. And the Anivia stops. Her nostrils flare and her eyes uh, scan the floor uh, and the walls of the, of the canyon. She squats and pokes at some lumpy, slimy substance. Lifts it up to look more closely. Smells them and then cringes. Something wrong worrying you? Ha! Bet my life that your gear... At this nasty stench when we were entering the canyon, I saw the queen uh, bug spraying it around to summon her spawn. By the way, did you know that smell is extremely effective at in attracting attention, not only in the insect world? For example, a tavern keeper in Canabras can for 10 minutes purposely and doggedly search for a rotten fish that turns out to be in the pocket of his apron. Okay. She doesn't remember. She, she doesn't remember she's a Kitsune, but she knows that. Talk about rubbish. Uh, let's see if we can find the source of the smell among my equipment. You and Nia search through your things and quickly find the source of the smell. A thin handkerchief. Looks like it's soaked in something like the Swarm Queen's slime. When did I get a perfume handkerchief? I'll be damned. And the Queen uh, was sprayed with a sweet. Smelling goo, uh, yeah. Right, the sweet smelling goo around the swarm flew it in it like a, a flies to jam. Chewed up bodies of the carriners smelled like it too. Check, Commander. I think some rat planted. Okay. Yeah, we got a mole. Um, I wonder if you can have your distraction person die if you wait I don't know I don't know if Nuria is alive they placed this swarm in our way no yeah it looks like I have enemies in them and then Mendev someone has decided to get rid of me true nobody likes upstarts you knew uh, what Erebeth allies hissed behind her back when she was appointed the head of the Eagles watch anyway we need to keep our eyes open the handkerchief had been planted here by magic but it takes, uh, but take it from a professional paran oh, paranoiac. Not even a word. Uh, I think we've got a raft in our camp. Canabras, we squashed the cultists time and time again, but they were like maggots. And the dead hog, uh, yeah, they keep they have to keep popping up. Hmm. Keep our eyes open. You know, guard up. It's best we can really do, I guess. It's time we got back to our people. Uh, I say we destroy the queen's body. I heard little bugs who eat the flesh and of their mother can be reborn into swarm king queens themselves. Okay. Oh, burn the body, gather as much of the queen's slime as we can. Keep it a secret from the troops and Dresden will send in a suicide <laughs> unit. Oh God. Um. For the demons to gather their forces and then bring them in the Vesca Wars. Fuck it, yeah. Want to make a weapon out of a demon bug sh uh, shit? Seriously? Better think about this. We have no way to control the swarm. Uh, what's that mean? It means the soldiers we send into battle with a barrel of this muck uh, will be eaten. F yeah, we first be eaten. It's not a, even a suicide mission. It's a dirty trick. Uh, only the cultists do. 
But we're crusaders. You might be a crusader, I'm not. I know an order is an order, I'll go gather up the stuff. I don't mind. But just think about it. Is this the way you want to fight? Will you be able to look at people? Yes, I will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Oh, look! Nora. Nivia, Commander, what a relief. You're alive. I saw the swarm begin to thin. I ran uh, to you immediately. Hmm. Luckily, our losses are not as great as we feared. Not many are uh, even wounded. But if you've been a moment later, I'm afraid, um, I'm afraid to imagine what might have happened to us. Unfortunately, the insect acid ruined what was left of the caravan. Of course, uh, I sympathize with those who perished, but we could have used their gear. The army is the backbone of the crusade, my best weapon. If it wasn't, I wouldn't have sacrificed valuable loot. To yeah, yeah, exactly. What matters is everything's over and we won. What are we going to do now? Since we're here, please look around. I found some painted ruins and traces of something that seemed like a ritual. You mean this? What's right behind you? We need to figure out what it is. Oh. What are you doing? Ha! Ah, easily done. I'm no mage, unfortunately, but I'm in the habit of thoroughly documenting all depictions of rituals and symbols from the magic books, especially demonic ones. Someone very recently opened a portal to the abyss here and summoned someone. It's not too difficult uh, to figure out to who they summoned. It's laying dead right there. Yeah, the queen. <coughs> Excuse me. I can guess who carried out the vitriol. Handwriting is unique, even when it comes to ruins. I examined the Grey Garrison after after your success, documented everything I found for Queen Galfrey. I'm sure that the hand that drew the ruins, uh, rune circles, was the same in both instances. The work of the same spellcaster. <coughs> yeah, clever to set a trap instead of fighting us openly. Yeah. We shouldn't be afraid of demons. We lived through this little trap, didn't we? I didn't say we were afraid, I said they were clever. We'll overcome the next one too. We just need to keep forging ahead. Well, since we finish off the swarm, uh, we know someone is giving us trouble. We should just we get out of here. I'm done with bugs. Mm -mm. Is there any point in going back, checking for loot? I'm guessing, it, as they said, it's been destroyed, right? Let me draw the first blood. I can handle it. Okay, there's definitely still what some loot here. here. Okay, so we're definitely gonna keep having a look around real quick. I will see to your blood house. Fun. Thank you for me. You are today's sacrifice. <laughs> Is that a trap? Is that a trap? 
Let's see what we can do. Okay. Let's GTFO. We're going down? Mm. Oh, my neck. I'll watch your back. Are we ready to move Smile. out? The world's Madrid, just yeah, I thought that was a next area Madrid, sort of thing. Turinos. Here we go. Save the last one for me. There's a letter uh, on one side of the paper, on the other side it's hastily drawn map of the dungeons. X marks the spot. For anyone who can help, my name is Harkel, I'm, I'm uh, And I'm chief of the Nasty Waifs? Waifs? Nasty Waifs gang. Recently we raided the Tower of Estrod in Canabras with the Nor Gorba's blessing. Okay. We hid in a reliable place, a bad reputation. A lot, okay. I can handle it. Ooh, a white. Make a fine An X white. What's that there? You can trust me. It's always people who say you can trust me that I trust the least. Perception check failed? What? what a Aha! Smack! Who the hell is Garkle? God. Minus one level? What? Uh, can that be cured? Oh, through restoration. Okay. Bloody hell. One of you guys has restoration spells. First come, first served. Oh, they got back up. What? The light take you. What is this bullshit? Oh my god, she's at death's door. Please, my dear. Why do they keep rezzing? What? I dedicate my body to 
science. Oh, it's this thing, whatever that is. Hold up. As soon as your fingers touch the wand,